Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. This episode it's time for the third Guardian. So let's Elder Guardian, so let's get on and start with this one. This one's actually I think it's one of the easier of the three. Certainly the first one was tough and the second one was surprisingly easy, even if I did sort of mess it up rather a lot. <laughs> Getting out that was. Um But we did survive, so which is the important thing. My health is down a little tiny, weeny bit, but not too much. Oh, we've got a guardian in there. Right, the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of him. Because he's going to be in oh, two of them. Look. So we should be able to right click those away. Let's hold it down a bit and get rid of them. There's, a, there's another way of doing it. But I'm not going to take that risk. So what I'm going to do now is drop down and put some sand in. Not some sand. A so, a sponge in this bottom corner over here. Let's do that first of all. If I can, there's. And that will absorb all the water here. Now I'm going to go over the other side here and do exactly the same again and get rid of the rest of the water here. Oh, we should have missed one, did I? Okay, never mind. We can soon sort that out. What I'll do is just put some sand in that block there that's missed, and I'll get rid of that. Oh <laughs> look, I think that's the Elder Guardian. So what we're going to do now? Hmm. I think I did that. No, I think that's. I think that's right. We're going to go down, and we're going to drop down on top of him. It doesn't. I think it doesn't really matter where I go down. I was going to go down through. I'll go down this corner here. So we're going to wait until a little bit of time let's have a look at the mining fatigue three minutes 48 seconds probably can do it now actually so we're going to drink this and break this block over here like that and then we're going to go down and put some doors down so let's get the doors in place of course doors doors perfect things actually for doing this sort of stuff there's a tail i can see a tail so i'm um, sure we'll just drink some have a drink it i'll drink some of this as well so we can see better. Oh my goodness. Right, there we go. Oops, let's go over it. Oh, I see him. He's over there. Let's just put some doors down here and make a little air pocket of safety. Didn't quite work, but uh, he's over. Where is he now? Hopefully he can't get out. So what I've got to do now is I've got to put some cobblestone down to prevent him getting out of this block here. There are some holes like this, and we want to prevent him getting out of here. So let's get the cobblestone into place. Get back into my cubby hole quickly. And let's put down a close the door. Oh gosh, done. Did it eventually. In fact, I put a cobblestone down there, that'll block that side off. So we're actually safe. So he can't escape, which is what we need him not to be able to do. So now we get some TNT. We're gonna blast him this time. I think I'll have a bit of fun blasting him. Where is he? There. That's that, 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 and then go back into our little cubby hole. There's a door. Oops, right, door, right door. That'll be one hit. Now I should be able to come out this side over here. Let's try that again. Get the, get this into hand. Put this down there. Light it and get back to our cubby hole. Close the door. That's two. Now we should be able to do it on the third one. I don't know what I can probably do is actually going to do this. Because I want some health back. Close the door. Got him. Now, I don't think there are any more guardians in here. So, we're going to go back out now. Where we came, which should be here. I probably need to put a ladder in the, in the place. Let's get a ladder out. Oops. Yes, I need to definitely put a ladder out. Get out of this water quickly as I can. But we'll quickly go into here and get some air back again. Whoa! I took a lot of hit in there, didn't I? Let's drink. Have I got my helmet on? Oh, I haven't got my helmet on. That would help, wouldn't it? Right. Let's try that again. Right, out safely. Ah, oh, I forgot my helmet because I was doing some stuff, wasn't I? So what I do need to do is actually get some water buckets in here. I've got three, three buckets, so it's good. So we've got to put one down tube down so we can actually put some um have i got my sponge yes i've got my sponge and i've got this sponge and there's another sponge up there so we're going to wait until mining fatigue disappears of course because it, now it's not going to that was the last of the guardians so they ain't going to get any more guardians so we can simply wait 
I'll come back when that's when that's gone. See you in a few seconds. Right, mining fatigue has gone, and we get no more mining fatigue, which is great. So I'm going to just break this sponge away now. We should be able to pick that up easily. I don't know, I've got a bit of sand there. So we're going to have to get out of here. So the first thing we're going to do is like, actually put down some water, because water was going to prevent uh, Endermen coming up here and stealing the sand, I believe. That's the idea of that one. And I'm going to take another bucket of water and put it up here so I can get out, the, out of the thing. If I can get there, that is. I'm jumping around a bit, aren't I? I'll try that. So we can actually swim up here. Like that. Then we can pick up this water again. And now we can put down some ladders to prevent the water from dropping down. Because I believe... Oh, what's the next bit about this? They cannot spawn... When I say they... Um, guardians cannot spawn in a one high water. So we got... We're not going to give any anybody any chance of giving us some one high water. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to build some ladders up here to get out as far as I can. I think that's probably about as high as we can get. But what we need to do is now break this thing here. So let's get my pick into my hand here and go up. I stand on the ladder here and then break this. Okay. Oops. Now that's what I was talking about. <laughs> Getting attacked by guardians from the side. So we can actually carry on now and get out of here. But I also need to put some water down here as well. So I'll just put some water down here. That same reason, prevent them all spawning down here. So we can simply... Oh, maybe that's not quite where I want to put it. Let's just put it over to this side then. Ah, oh, of course, because of the ladders. Yes, I don't think the ladders will prevent... The... Okay, that's fine. I think that'll be fine. So you need to put down a, a torch or a lantern or something down the bottom. We'll put down a lantern. I will press F7. See if there's any spawnable places around here. Yes, there are a few. Look, I'll we'll just put one down. Maybe over there. Not quite enough. Two, I'll have to use two on this bit. Um, Nathan Ryan, I used one, I think. So that's, that's it. Oh, that's not too bad. Oh, and they got it in the right place too, so we can go straight back. Oh, so the next thing we're going to do is we've got to build out of here a platform of stone, which is going to take quite a long time to do. But I'm going to start it with you, and then we shall come back and do that. You see, my night vision is just disappearing because it's night time. Oh, there's a block over there that's not been lit up. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't realise that. I wonder why. I'm sure I put it. Oh, of course I got a serious lag over here, didn't I? And I should have had another. Oh, that's my sand pillar. Yes, that was what I forgot. Oh, shit, I can break. I can fix that now, can't I? We'll fix that first of all. Oh, I didn't pick up the sand. That's weird. A uh, slab. So that's, we don't, we're not going to get any mobs spawning around here anyway. So right, time to go back to the to the base bit. Of course, I've got to go the long way around now, of course, because I broke it. But I don't see any more dark areas for the mobs to spawn in. I'm being cautious. I'm holding down shift as I'm doing this. <laughs> in fact, I think I should be able to go this way. Oddly enough, oh, that took a long time to come back, didn't it? Yeah, can go straight over. If I keep my mouse in the middle, I should be all right. Keeping on this, concentrating a little bit. I've got to go back home now uh, because I forgot I need some lava. And we need some... I think I've already got these prepared. Let's have a look. I've got three... Yes, I've got three stacks of oak leaves. I hope that's enough. Um, actually, I'm going to dry out this wet sponge as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get some more bits and pieces when we're at home. So I shall see you there. Right, I'm back home. Not been here for a while, have we? I suppose it's time to have a sleep now, because it's unlikely to to die now. Once we've done that, once we got rid of the elder guardians, there is a risk. I have when I was doing my dry run, so to speak, I did did die once from clearing it out. But th what we're going to do now, next one, is we're going to put a cover over the monument area, and what that cover is going to do is hopefully it's going to make the mob spawn or the guardian spawn outside above 
the um, or most of them anyway, above the uh, what I'm talking about, up above the monument. And I've got some lava over here, so I need three buckets of lava. Well, I can do it with one, but three is going to be better. Like that. And what else I'm going to build is I'm going to build a. I think I'm going to build the same thing as I've got in here. I'm going to build another heater like this and I'm going to I think this will be powerful enough if I use a thermoelectric generator so I shall do those off camera and see when I'm back at the monument see in a few seconds right I'm back so I've got a heater I've got a thermal generator and two blocks of uranium I haven't got any packed ice I must have put that somewhere let's go and get that I'd probably in here If I haven't got two packs there, let's have a look. No, I haven't got any. So what I'll have to use is these. And I think if I just use eight of these, let's take half of that and then put half of those away. I think four sixteens will be, <laughs> I'm trying to count. That's probably four, won't it? I need 32. Put those away. Take that, I could try that again. Half of those. And I should be able to craft those into ice. Oh, it's too many. I want half of that. Right, so I get four. Oh, I should fell. I only need two, don't I? But never mind. Done too many. <laughs> I thought it was going a bit bad. Right, okay. So I just need to pack these up, and then we're ready for that. I think I thought I'd done some already, but I can't find where I put them. <laughs> Typical. They just go into here, and they've got so they've got the brick setting in here. I only need two of these, so these will turn into pack, packed ice. So I've got uranium one, blocks of uranium one side, and packs up packed ice on the other side of the thermo generator should give us 42 RF per tick which should be should be plenty for what we wanted I'm only going to wait for the second one of these don't need any more than two right go on so let's go back to the net through the nether into the jump over here back to the thing ocean monument and I'll see you in a few seconds when I'm there Right, I'm back in. I'm just going to put some of this stuff away. I don't need all of it because for the time being. So what we do need, though, is the leaf blocks. I don't need the sand. I probably need, need a bucket. We'll keep a bucket in case. We probably need those. Uh, pumpkins. Yes, I took a stack of pumpkins because I probably I think I've got a stack of torches somewhere. I don't think we need sand, but we will need some cobblestone. I'm not sure how much I've got. Those actually blocks of slime, slime blocks. I'm hoping I can use those to clear the water away a bit. Um, water, uranium, that one. Don't need TNT. I don't think, hope we don't need a TNT. We'll keep those with us. Some food, uh, some instant healing. Never know. <laughs> and some sponges. Put the sponges safely away in there. Night vision. We probably won't need milk. Uh, I don't think we're going to need any of those. I think that's all we need for this particular trip. Let's have a look. Now I need three buckets of lava and lots of leaf blocks. Now where have I put the leaf blocks? Here we go. Now we need lots of cobblestone for that one. So let's take another stack of cobblestone. What we're going to do is build a platform. I'm copying exactly what um, Nathan Ryan did in his videos. Because the idea of putting a platform down here, I did in my dry run, I did do it without a platform. And I will be honest with you, it's um, there are a lot of mobs down there. So putting the platform on, what it's supposed to do is supposed to make the spawning of the guardians above the monument or most of them above the monument so what we so we're going to do it like that so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put here on this middle one of the three there's two which have got three visible because we've got the pillar i'm going to put down leaf blocks down there i don't need that one probably don't need the ladders keep this to one side we'll need three of these Let's put them down. Three buckets of lava it makes just life go faster. That's all. And then we're going to put lava down. And we need some. Oh yeah, that's right. Let's just do this. So I should be able to put a lava block. Open oh, a lava block. A grass block here, like that. And one on the other side over here, uh, which I'm going to have to get to. I've got lantern in the way. <laughs> Let's get rid of the lantern. Get rid. We don't need that for the time being. And the other one that goes over here. I see that's also a bit of a nuisance too. We'll put these back in a minute. Oops, it'll come back. 
So we need this one in the other of these. Now the position of these is actually quite important. We stopped attacking me, that's good. So I'm now just going to put down two cobblestone blocks here and here. If I can reach that is. Oh of course I don't need that one. Here and here. And I'm going to put some lava on top of these like this. On the top of the leaf block. Over that side and one over here. Like that. What they're going to do is they're going to make a nice little pattern of stone, which we're going to be. I think that one's now finished. Let's pick it up and do the same over here too. So what that's formed is this pattern here. Now what we're going to do is the same thing on this side. So I have to be three blocks in. So I have to do opposite this one here. So that. Directly opposite that, we're going to put another grass block down. But first we're going to put one block of cobblestone down here like this. Cobblestone and then a grass block. And then we're going to repeat the process with lava. So I'm going to put lava on top of here. Get out of the way, of course. And I'm going to go and do the same thing over here. So I need to put a block of cobblestone down where I'm standing here. Which is opposite that one. And then put on top of that a leaf block at the outside of that. And then come out of the way and put some cobble and put another piece of lava, another lava bucket on there. Oops, wrong one. Get that out of the way. There. Hopefully I haven't messed it up. <laughs> no, I think that's fine. Yeah, that looks good because you can see the pattern forming as you as it forms. Now what this is going to do, it's going to make an area which we can then later on fill with sand. So this is the important thing about this. Let's get that one. And of course we're getting safer now. Uh, as we're getting away from the... As we've got more platform. Uh, it gets a little bit safer from the Guardians. They're, they're spawning underneath us. But uh, we've got somewhere to run to quickly if we need to. So what we're now going to do. Is we need to put out here. Uh, a leaf block. And some cobblestone. So I'm going to just put a leaf block on the end of these. It doesn't, I don't think it matters where. And then we're going to put three pieces of cobblestone in each direction. So let's go out here. One, two, three. And then we're going to put a leaf block on the end of that. Like that. And we're going to do the same over here. I think that's the right way. Maybe I got it wrong. I'll double check in a minute. And three cobblestone out this way. And a leaf block. And do the same thing over this side as well. And we put lava on the three of on these three end leaf blocks here like that. If I got it right, I hope I got it right. Otherwise, I'd better work to clear up, put it back again. Of course, I've got to move that thing there. Stand back a bit. And these should form. Yes, they are doing nicely, aren't they? They're forming this nice pattern. And you can see that the pattern's going like the, a diagonal sort of pattern here. A diamond shape, in fact, it is. So we can come up here and I get these three lava buckets again. And what we're going to do is we're going to press F7 because <laughs> I can't quite figure out what he has said about this bit. But we're putting them on the back side of these, these lanterns. We're going to put the lanterns down because we don't want pollution, of course. Um, now, it's 5x5, five five, I think. Lanterns actually have more light than normal torches. So let's put one over here. Here, I think, is where we put it. We'll have to put one down here, won't we? To prevent mob spawning. Because it is coming tonight. And of course this berry is going to get bigger and bigger as we start doing this. So that's formed this nice little pattern. And we just carry on doing this again. So we're here. And we basically put down one leaf block here. And we're actually going forwards, as you can see. And we come out here. Three. Leaf block. And then we come back here. Yeah. I'm holding down shift as I'm doing this as well, of course. 
cobblestone and going back three. Leaf block. And we're going to repeat this pattern until we've filled in this whole area. So I'm going to be doing this, I think, in my own time. And I think it's going to take quite a long time to do. So I'm probably going to have to say goodbye for this episode. Let's put these down here. Get out of the way. So that's it for this episode. I'll just take my mask off. You can see my face better. Uh, <laughs> I wish you all the best. Hope you've enjoyed it. So three guardians down. So until next time, bye for now.